Feel like you made a clean shot, but still missed your target just off the left or right or slightly high or low with your elevation, it may not be your wind call. The Coriolis effect, spin drift, and crosswind jump can affect those longer distance shots. Geoballistics by Vortex makes it easy to account for these. So let's talk about what these are first. Spin drift is caused by the rifling in our barrel. It's twisting at a certain rate, therefore it spins the projectile at a very fast rate. And that fast rate of spin causes a drift over a prolonged distance. With a right hand twist barrel, it'll be to the right. With a left hand twist barrel, it'll be to the left. The Coriolis effect is caused by shooting on a spinning sphere from point A to point B. And if we're shooting over a long enough distance, we'll see a deflection. Crosswind jump is caused by a wind either from the left or a right that is strong enough we can see a deflection up or down with our vertical dispersion. So let's dive into the app and see where we actually account for these. We'll start with spin drift. So from the chart screen in Geoballistics, the upper right hand corner has a little gear wheel. That's our settings area. So we'll go ahead and tap on that. And if we scroll down, we can see a section called ballistic preferences. And there is spin drift, Coriolis effect and crosswind jump. So I'll go ahead and I'll toggle them all off and I'll back out to that chart screen. And you can see under the wind section that they're all zeroed out. There's no wind correction whatsoever. And if I go to the heads up display, that's because I don't have a wind speed dialed on. However, if I go back to that section under settings and toggle on spin drift, back out to my chart, you can see under the wind section, I start to get a deflection to the left at about 400 yards. So I have a right hand twist barrel, which means the bullet's gonna to drift to the right. In order to compensate for that, the app is telling me I need to hold left. All right, so that's spin drift. And in my case, it's starting to come into play about four, 500 yards. Now we'll back out to the settings area again, and we'll go down, we'll toggle off spin drift, and we'll toggle on Coriolis effect. Back out to the chart screen, and we scroll down, so with Coriolis effect, there is a horizontal component and there is a vertical component. So we can see that with the horizontal component, it's coming into play at about that 900 yard mark. You can see it says about left 0.1. So now we're looking at the vertical component for Coriolis effect. I'll have to change my shot direction to get a change in my elevation data. So in this case, at 900 yards, I'm at 7.6. If I go up here and change my shot direction to 90 degrees, you can see now I'm at 7.5. So the horizontal and the vertical component of the Coriolis effect are starting to present themselves at 900 yards for me. So we'll back out to that setting screen and we'll turn Coriolis effect off and we'll turn crosswind jump on. I'll back out once again and now I'm gonna change my shot direction to zero. I'll go to my heads up display and I'll change my wind speed to 90 degrees, which it's set at currently. And then I'll just tack on about 10 miles per hour. Go to my chart and we can start to see a discrepancy with my elevation data. So we'll pick out the 500 yard mark. I'm at 2.8 mils of elevation with that crosswind of 10 miles per hour. If I go back to heads up display and I take that off at 500 yards, now I'm at 2.9 mils up. So with crosswind jump, it can have your bullet deflect either up or down, depending on if it's coming from the left or from the right. So geoballistics makes it easy to stay on top of these variables simply by toggling them on or off based off your preferences. When distance starts working against you, it's time to dial in every advantage you can. Download Geoballistics for free and let the app take care of the math for you.